welcome to Comic Con. What a perfect venue to reunite with this beloved cast, this beloved show. What was it like to get back on stage with those guys? So, back in June, we had a reunion in, in Austin, Texas at the um, ATX Television Festival, and the reaction was so positive, and I think the experience was so positive that the the powers that be at Sci-Fi Network hatched this idea that they would like to stage a reunion at Comic-Con. And I thought, at Comic-Con 2018, right? I mean, isn't that next month? And they're like, no, we're talking about in July. And I thought, that's impossible. There's no way you're going to be able to orchestrate that. How, you know, there's not going to be any room. You know, there are so many fish in the sea nowadays. There's so much great entertainment on television, so many great shows in this genre. Where is there going to be room for us? And is anybody going to care? Short notice as well. And here we are, two hours coming off of a stage where we were in Ballroom 20 to a crowd of 5,000, 6,000. I mean, every seat was filled. It made the hair on my arm stand up. I can't believe that eight, ten years after we've been off the air, that we still resonate with people like we do. And that's a humbling experience. And, and it's, it's one that, I, it's, it's an irreplaceable experience in my life. I can't explain it. I can't believe that we get to still be a part of something as important as Comic-Con in the year 2017 and still have some relevance and, and that's a really good feeling. It's nostalgic in so many ways. I'm having so many wonderful memories. I love these people. Anytime I get to spend with them is fantastic. I don't get to see Ron and David that much. I do get to see a lot of the cast. It's still very close. We do a lot of family events together. We hang out as much as we can. It's still very close. The LA group of us that live in LA, we see each other all the time. So it's, I mean, I literally was I saw Mary on Saturday night. I saw Truco uh, yesterday. Like I mean, but it's fun to, to have the, some of the LA or Vancouver contingent down here this time. But to celebrate the show this many years after the fact, and to see that it's still relevant, it's still important, it still creates uh, positive and intelligent discourse, is a beautiful thing. I'm so honored to have been a part of something like that. The show obviously still holds up and some of the themes are just universal, but it was discussed on the panel that the show, if it were made today, would be fundamentally different, was the phrase that was used. How do you believe that to be true or not true? Oh, I think that's very true. I think, um, I think Ron Moore, David Icke, Michael Reimer are an incredible team of writers. They had their finger on the pulse of, of, of the world, of the country at the time. You know, that we were in a post 9-11 world and that was what was on everybody's mind. So they were, they parlayed that into what this drama became. I believe that they have the talent and the ability to have recreate the show today. They would take the pulse of, of the nation, the pulse of the world, and be able to formulate a show around that. So I think it fundamentally would be different. I think some themes still resonate. I think it was a political allegory, it's a social allegory, it had religious overtones. It's, those things are timeless. I mean, Shakespeare wrote about themes like that. Well, I think in many ways it would be the same, um, but yes, it would be different in some ways just because you're reflecting on what is happening exactly right now. And while there are a lot of parallels as to what was happening right then, uh, it's, it's almost like it's on steroids right now in many ways. Um, so there, there would be a slight, a slight alteration, but I don't know if the if fundamentally the show would change that much, it would just you might have different you'd you'd have, you'd have tweaks here and there. Yeah, I think I think it would be it it'd be more relevant. It would be just as relevant. And and um, I mean, you could argue that it would be that show could work 100% today if it was done. Like Ron alluded to, also on stage during the panel, small changes could be made, but the show would have just. I I, I could almost argue that it would have the same impact. It's it's important for art like this today more than anything. Uh, on a lighter note, we wanted to ask everybody, do you guys find yourselves ever saying frack in real life? Oh yeah, all the time. It's in, my <laughs> wife, yeah, my wife still uses that term. <laughs> you know, because we feel like we got away with something. Because it was just a made up word. And yet the connotation was clear, it was obvious what it was, but there was nothing they could do about it because it was just a stupid word, it's just frack. You know, now it just means, you know, you're cutting up rock and getting oil out of it, but it still has emotional resonance like you when you need something and you just you're looking for the right word nah, frack works it's a fracking great word